What is up guys? So I'm Musa back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And I know you guys were probably expecting a swindle from MMC to probably my next review. But I got this in the mail today and I just, you know, hey look man, reformat is my bread and butter. It's gotta come first, right? <laughs> but this is gonna be a quick one because this is basically just a remold, slight retool. A figure of our review, which is uh, the version of the pet. So let's hurry up and jump into this. Uh, well, wasting more of your time. This is a reformatted R40 Jaguar Saboteur. And this is the front of the box, as you can see. Move the camera up, Mr. Taste. And side, back, and it comes with some extra pieces for Megatron, which I'm happy to get. Side, bottom. And top, uh, this is from So Z. I don't know what this is referring to, but something up. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, let's look at the booklet here. Which is always the same thing, you know, instructions and comic. And the comic, you get to see Shockwave and uh, Death's Head. Artwork is really good as normal. No complaints there. One day I'm gonna sit down and actually like read these damn things and compare. And here is a uh, upcoming products, the remainder of the DJD, Helix, and Thesaurus. So come on, guys, let's finish it. And if you go to the other side of this, you get the instructions, which are all super easy, just like just like the pet. And uh, yeah. This is it. Alright, moving on again. Also come with a collector card. As you can see. Get the focus. And nice uh, display of the product itself. Here's the back. If you guys want to read the stats. His skill is a 10, which is perfect. So this fool is skillful. And for accessories, first one. I'm gonna look at is actually a uh, black version or dark gray of the Voss rifle. Uh, I think this is to mirror their version of, um, I believe it was a con exclusive version of Voss that they released some years ago. I don't have that one, of course, but it was a thing. And uh, it's in a really nice sculpt. I like the pink line detail here. I guess to be, I guess this is supposed to be the, the flowing energy is going through the cannon. It's good. Uh, came with a scope. It slides off really easy. But it slides back on. This is easy. A uh, little, uh, little, uh, I guess like a, like a little, uh, some type of maybe maybe a thermal picture graph thing here. You can fold it in, fold it out. Also come with a different handle. Uh, I've already changed it to this to this one. It came with this one initially, which is wait a minute. Uh, bring the camera down. This handle was initially the one that was used. Uh, Ravage can't hold it, but I guess this is for more or less for nickel. So yeah. Uh, as for comparison of the gun, I have handy my version uh, that came with the pet, which is right here. So you can kind of see them at the back. See some of the differences, which is none, but except for coloring. Like you have silver here, and this one you have this nice kind of a turquoise green, or turquoise, I don't know turquoise is actually green, but turquoise. <laughs> So uh, yeah, you just think so for it. They're, they're the same sculpt, just different paint. All right, moving on from that, let's look at. Uh, comes with two small pistols that he can hold. This is more aligned with the uh, with how he transforms. You see, in the, in the IW comics, he he transforms with the set tape, and in more meets the eye, he doesn't transform anymore at all because uh, I think uh, at that time point, Soundwave is actually uh, at a space station close to Earth, so. They don't contact that much anymore, so. But these are more or less like, like the little pistols maybe that the Beast Wars version has. And you get two of them. You don't want to have any paint at all. But they're a nice little scope, I guess. And uh comes with this. Which I really like. Uh, I like this enough that I want a second Megatron to wear this head full time. But this is a uh, Megatron Origins head. Once he, takes, once he takes his helmet off. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's painted really nice with silver paint. Uh, red eyes. Although they didn't add any um, pearlescent red to the eyes. 
which would have been nice, but alas, no. Uh, the frills back here have a nice gold paint. Trim on through here. I may, in fact, if I can remember, I will add a uh, picture here so you guys can see the comparison of the actual combo thing. Uh, more gold, more gold trim here, all throughout. On sides here, these don't bend, but I think these on the side do. Yes, they do. The side ones do bend there so slightly, so that's good. And come with a for this side, come with a faux helmet. He can't wear this helmet, but you know, for like maybe perhaps taking pictures or whatnot, Megatron can hold it. And towards the end of the review, I will grab Megatron and I'll show you what I mean. But it's nice too, silver paint. The caution uh, stripes from um, his minor days, and a bit of the. I don't remember in the comic if he had the red, the red part on there. Um, I know he did Megatron Origins when he's like full on gladiator fighter. But anyway, it's there. It looks nice. And here we have Ravage. Um, <clears throat> when you get my package, he's actually already in his. Uh, I can't really. It's, I don't know what to call it. I guess his upright mode, but. When I display him, I'm not even going to touch that. So, <laughs> he's going to be in this mode permanently. But you know, for the sake of this, I'm going to have him transform, of course. But, uh, let's look at him. Looks really nice. He, I remember him being a maybe a darker black. Almost kind of black. But this is more gray. Like an ash gray. But, I, I'm at, yet again, I'm going to have to post a picture up somewhere in here. To show how it looks in the comic book. But I remember him being darker. Um, anyhow, um, there is some paint. He has some silver paint here on his, uh, Forearm here, upper part of arm, nice gold paint here for the, where the vent area is. Same on both sides. As uh, another another attachment, which you can take these right off. Take it off here. Come on, there we go. Uh, there's also two another accessory, and these are just all one all one uh, all one sculpt with silver paint here on the tip of the missile. His handguns too. I'm going to show that while I'm thinking about. It. His handguns can too plug in on the back. Like so, if you want to do that, just it's cool, good storage. Put that back on there. There you go. It's a pretty good tight fit. Um, back to the paint. There's more back. There's more silver paint here on, on the back of the foreleg, and his toes are they're painted, but they're more like a gunmetal gray. Same for the shoulder here, and he has a red matte finish on the eyes. I would have preferred a red pearlescent paint. But I guess this is fine. But I think the red pearlescent would gave more life to the eyes. Also has silver teeth. And has a nice touch. As far as articulation goes, uh, similar to the pet, um, the arms can rotate. Getting a full 360. You can rotate on the ball joint inside the shoulder, or you can move the mechanism here, as you can see too, to get a little extra range of movement. And it's the same on both sides. The hands can swivel. A full 360 and the claw can bend. Do it a little stiff, can bend down about that far comfortably. I wouldn't go any further. And this one is the same way. Ah, there we go. As far as the back claws go, as you can see, they can bend up and down all the way completely. Very nice. And the same on the foot. As for uh, leg articulation, you can swivel well, up, up. If you can move this out of the way, I believe you can get, ah, well, I guess not, get about that far comfortably. And go about that far so he can almost kick himself in the back of the head for some good cat poses. And the foot's also on a ball joint, as you can see. So you can get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And so, uh, as far as the waist goes, you can spin them, give a full 360 out of that. And, um, <clears throat> Pink for Life, in his review, he, he had mentioned that originally you could uh, extend this right here, which is true. Uh, but like him, I can't, get, I can't get the slot out. Now, you get the gimmick of pulling them apart, because in the comics, Tarn rips him a new one. But, even still, with some moves out of the way, there should be a way to slide this out right here. Like, hold on, let's see here. And I, I, I can feel it wiggling, but can't seem to, can't seem to get it. 
I don't know. It could be glued, I'm not sure. I I just can't seem to get the slot. I, I'm wondering if you even do it at all. But if I if if I can get it to do it, I'll definitely post pictures with that slid out. It would definitely help with poses. Slide it back in. Uh, moving on, however, the tail itself is uh, on each individual segment is on a ball joint, if you can see. And you can move it any which way, which is which is really cool. Like you can turn it. Each segment can be turned, twisted, like so. Some really cool poses out there. So I I really appreciate that. That's a real nice touch. And let's see, moving back to the head itself. Another articulation more thing you get here, you can open his mouth about that far. And the head can spin a full 360. And speaking of the head, that is a really nice sculpt. That is, a, that is really close to the IW. You see in the in the G1, the head was more like a, well, I guess like an actual Jaguar, I guess. But on uh, IW version, it really is to me more feline with the side uh, with the sides here kind of whooshed out. So I, I already did that. Um, if you were to move this little thing here, which is part transformation, move that back. The head gets a little more, as you can see, but it looks weird because you don't have that covering and just, yeah, so. yeah. Now, for a comparison, I'm going to pull in, I mean, ah, damn it, there we go. For a comparison, <laughs> I'm going to swing in here with none other than the pet. And what I'm saying about the pet here, uh, sim I wish I could do it with him, but I think you might can. The pet has this right here, this joint here where you can slide in, slide out. So, as you can see, and you get all this extra movement that I wish he could get. But I'm gonna mess with him, see if I can't get it to work. Uh, but yeah, um, here's the pet and here's Ravage. As you can see, uh, mostly just a big color change. Of course, the mane's different, uh, head being different. Uh, and he doesn't have these extra pieces hanging off on the side. And the tail, forget about it, vastly different. Different kind of tail. I think when it comes down to tails, I like this one better for the, I guess, the bushiness of it. Because he's, he's a turbo fox versus him being a, you know, jaguar or whatever. Some kind of cat. But I like the bushiness of it. But I like this one for the posability. This is way more posable. And uh, one thing that Ravage doesn't have hindering him is a face of Dominus Ambus under here. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is them compared. So I guess except for what they're going to different things. This is, a, this is a Turbo Fox. This is a Jaguar. So two different beasts, I guess, all together. And for another comparison, let's bring in a, a current a, a current deluxe. There's Siege Ratchet. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put him in his transformation. And here he is, all transformed. Honestly, this transformation is so easy. I could just, I don't know. I should just get it from the camera. <laughs> I, I mean, that's how quick it really is. Um, much like uh, the pet or um, Dominus Ambus. Yeah. It's uh, transformation is as simple as just turn his arms around, turn the legs around. And flipping them up outright and pop out the hill spur and you got a robot mode. Um, this really makes me think of the Beast Wars episode where uh, Ravage came back and I think he worked for like the, the primals or I, I don't remember. I watched Beast Wars but I don't remember everything about it. But I remember Ravage coming back. And I'm sure someone in the comments can probably elaborate line for line what he did and I wouldn't stop you. But uh, speaking on this figure, uh, articulation is essentially the same. You no, know, the arms you get a full 360. You uh, get the same, but you can also use the shoulder if you want to for different movements, which is good. So you know that's extra mobility. I'm all for that. Another 360. Oops. Oh, oh. 360 down. And you have a double. Oh, oh, oh bottom follower. Got a double jointed uh, elbow, so you can get the. Bend it like so, and like so. And get the arm all the way up to here, which is good. And you're doing a little fist bump there. Not fist bump, but a little chest bump, so you can double bend them and get a little bit of this action going on there. Oh, I'm Ravage! And uh, if you look at the chest, 
They gave this, they gave him the full on picks, as you can see. And uh, as for the legs, let's see. They go up that far at the needed bend. Let's see. Matter of fact, since you're at this little thigh cut, I think you can double bend them. And let's see. Yeah, you can. So that's, that's kind of a double knee. Even better. Like that. Even though I'm not going to leave them in this mode. <laughs> and out here at this, here you have a swivel right here at the thigh. And you can span and get a full 360. Mostly for transformation, but it is articulation. And the feet, you have to get toe can bend. And you have a heel, which is right here. So you can bend that as well. Then again, mostly for transformation. And pop it back up. Uh, as for his weapons, oh, oh sorry, before well, I get the weapons, uh, waist, I think I already showed, but I might show it again. You can't get full 360. Bro, I think I showed that in beast mode, I'm not quite sure. As far as weapons, he has these very, very tiny pistols, which I've already shown, and the hole in his hand there can hold that. And honestly, this is about the only thing he can hold, because his hands don't open. And the hole for the gun is so tiny, you can't fit anything else in there. Let's put the other in there. So there you go. go arm up with two pistols, which is pretty cool. Yet again, if you want to leave him in this mode, which I do not. It, for me personally, this could have been a, ah, I fell off. This could have been a totally non-transformable figure and I've been happy. Matter of fact, if it had been non-transformable, Probably got a whole new scope just for this guy. Get that pistol stand there. Ah, come on, you. In there. All right, there we go. So, yep. Give him, you know, give him cool little shooting poses. And again, the tail is still double segmented, so you can do whatever you want with that. And like I said, for that tail is very nice. I, I, I appreciate that the ability to do that. As for uh, comparison, let's bring him back in the pet. But I transformed him back to his Dominus Ambus mode, so you can see how that looks. And I think, uh, although I don't keep the pet in robot mode either, honestly, um, man, I don't know. I I I kind of forgot how kind of cool Dominus Ambus looks because if you look at the back here, except for the tail splits open. It makes this kind of cool coattail thing. It looks really cool from the front. And it's just one of those things where I'm not going to display either one of these figures in their, you know, robot modes. But, yet again, you can do it. So, yeah. That's how they both look together. And also, just for sake of argument, let's show him with a contemporary deluxe. Because I believe this is basically deluxe skill. So here is Ratchet back again. Man, I wish Ratchet were bigger. <laughs> Look at this, makes me realize this how, this how short some Siege stuff is. But anyhow, get get Ratchet out of there. Another thing I want to show, uh, I actually forgot, but uh, he also came with these. These are fillers for their Megatron to fill in the gap on his forearms when he doesn't have a cannon in, in use. And I also remember I said I was gonna show Megatron with his uh, new head. I figured I'd do that now. Let's bring him back in. And this is basically how, oh, turn the camera up. This is basically how Megatron looks when you give him uh, the new head and the helmet. He can't, except for he can't wear it, but he can basically hold it like he's taking it off. And yes, people, this is why I would buy a whole nother Tyranitron. Just for, just, just, just so I can keep him like this and put him with my DJD. I think that looks so cool. It's been a long time since I put him back in this minor configuration. And I think that it just looks so great. MMC, I might have to buy this guy again. Damn you. But I love you at the same time. Well, with that being said, let's keep this short. Let's go back to that final thought. I think if you're already into the reformat line, that this guy is an excellent buy. Now, if you're not, not so much. Because, you know, <clears throat> MMC has provided a really nice G1 version of this character uh, which actually turns into an actual real world cassette believe it or not so that's part of one you want to get but for me or for and people who like me who are really into the IW aesthetic this one I think honestly is a no-brainer it's really good um, you know if you fiddle with it enough you can get some pretty decent feline-esque poses out of it 
uh, the paint where applied is I think pretty good. You know, with the with the with the silver paint, gold paint, uh, gunmetal. Uh, I still say the eyes would have been better off with a pearlescent red, so that matte red. But even still, it's pretty, still pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, for even for the lines are told by, even uh, even makes it even better, which comes with the extra the extra goodies for. Megatron right here. I think that just get the camera. I think that is the is the little extra nice nod. Also, the price person for me is not that bad. Um, I got this guy from Show Z, and I got it for essentially sticker price. Uh, they also have free shipping, which made it did again sticker price. No extra, no extra tax, no shipping. So I would say if you're gonna get this thing, because it's not in American stores, I would definitely go with Show Z on this. Uh, but like I said, if you're in for the line, it's worth a buy. If you're not and you're more MP, I say go with the other version. But for me, this is really awesome, and I'm glad to have them. And I have to go buy another Megatron now because I honestly want to keep mine like this. But this is again my Autobot Megatron. Ah, one more thing, one more thing. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. You guys uh, subscribing and liking my videos helps me out tremendously. Also, if you can, please check out the rest of Jetticons. I'll have their links down here below. So, uh, yeah, check them out. If you haven't, subscribe to them as well. All of them make really great content, and you won't be disappointed. With that being said, this has been Sardo Nuspa, also known as the Black Gentleman. I'm doing God's work. Peace out.